All right, thanks for checking out the Forest River Flagstaff Microlite 23LB travel trailer. This is a 2010 in excellent condition. Uh, I gotta tell you, if you're thinking about getting a trailer, uh, don't buy new. You could get something just like new that's been meticulously maintained, lots of upgrades, and pay half the price. And this is a really clean trailer right here, and it's only 3781 dry weight. 3,781 pounds could be towed by most medium SUVs, so you're getting a super light travel trailer. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll take a look around the outside here, and then go on inside and show you what we've got. Uh, right up front here, you'll see the really nice bay window. Uh, it gives you a lot of light. This is a unique feature, not on a lot of travel trailers. A lot have a closed nose, and it gets really dark in there. This has a nice uh, picture window. You can open it up uh, when you're traveling. You put down the bug screen and the stone guard, and uh, you can use that for a little bit more privacy as well, too. We've got two 20-pound uh, propane tanks here to run uh, your fridge when you're not on AC power, to run your grill, to run your heat. Got a brand new house battery for you, too. Propane in the tanks um, as well, too. And if we step over here, you'll see with this trailer, you get a lot of storage, which is really nice. Uh, you'll notice the bulkhead doors and the pass-through storage. This is fantastic because you can go put a lot in here, whether that's camping chairs, fishing poles, you've got a beach umbrella. Uh, both sides open up and you get a whole lot of room uh, for this classic trailer. Awning is in great condition. Uh, it's a manual awning. Uh, you'll also see we've got the uh, easy entry steps down here. Uh, two steps, not very high like some of the trailers, so it's really easy to get in and out of. And also we've got the convenience package, which includes the grill, the sidekick grill. Uh, it's got the LP gas quick connect, so you can set that right up, uh, be grilling with gas, and the beauty is you're underneath the awning, so if it's raining outside, you can still grill. Also comes with a portable side table, and this table is great just to be able to uh, put, you know, some things out here if you're grilling, be able to put your tongs up there, but also you can bring the TV from outside, uh, the, the inside TV out, set it up out here, watch the game, watch TV, HD uh, TV antenna, so you can really enjoy yourself while you're out here as well too. And you'll see we've got uh, the power outlets right under here, so you can plug into that. Uh, also, if you want to use a hot plate or whatever else it might be, you can do that really easily from outside. Uh, plus, we've got the concert tone speakers, so you can listen to some music while you're out here. And just want to show you these tires. These tires are brand new. Uh, as of last season, so you're going to get lots of years out of those uh, tires as well, too. So I want to point out on the Sun Chaser awning, I've got the color-changing LED lights installed with remote control. This is a really neat effect at night. Uh, it'll cycle through different light shows, different colors. Kids love it. It will literally light up the entire camper uh, based on any color combination that you like. And uh, really a lot of fun when you're sitting around at the campfire at night to be able to have that as well. We'll go ahead and step around the back. So you've got the spare tire carrier right here. Great condition bathroom window. You'll also notice you've got the outside shower out here. This is really, really handy when you're camping. Got hot and cold water back here, shower head, and uh, that is also adjustable as far as the flow goes. Uh, great if you're camping with kids, they've gotten all dirty at the beach or the lake, come back here. You can literally hose them off outside before they track that all into the camper as well too. So that is uh, part of the convenience package on this trailer. And the heat. What's really nice about this trailer too, you've got the full fiberglass all around. Uh, this is nice, it's lightweight, easy to clean, it's sleek. Unlike some of the aluminum stuff that's uh, uh, corrugated, that's a little bit harder to watch, and uh, streaks. Lots of windows in this uh, rig as well too. Gives you plenty of natural light. We've also got more storage back here. And you'll see this is really nice because it's actually pass-through storage as well. So those cabinet doors open up to the inside so the kids can bring uh, their toys, their games, put them in here. You can get them from the outside or if it's a rainy day, you can open them up and get them on the inside as well too. Coming right around here, we've got our uh, hookups for satellite TV, cable, and telephone. You've got your 30 amp line connector as well too. Got a uh, fairly new cord for you with LED indicator and new shoreline cord. Here is the gravity water fill for the fresh water tank for your holding tank. Outlet for our furnace. We've got a six gallon DSI 
uh, gas and electric uh, propane uh, water heater for you and your city water connection and again a bulkhead for connecting through. So we'll go ahead inside and take a look at the rest of the, the rest of the camper. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and step inside of the camper here and you'll see again just how light it is in here, which is really nice. Again, a lot of the uh, campers today are skimping on windows and ventilation, not at all in here. There are tons of windows, tons of ventilation, so you can get that nice breeze if you're camping by the lake or whatever else it might be. And this is also great for this class of camper. Again, this is a 23 foot, 3,700 pound camper and you've got a full queen walk around bed in here. And that is fantastic, very comfortable. And not only that, it is a heated mattress. So uh, a cold night, you can dial that up. It's uh, selectable and adjustable how much heat you want and you're sleeping on a nice toasty mattress as well. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is there are uh, dual nightstands, lots of room right there with power outlets so you can charge your smartphone, your tablet, your laptop uh, while you're in bed, which is great. Reading lamps as well. And again, look at that nice picture window letting in uh, all of that light. Tons and tons of storage inside of this camper. You'll see the nice cabinetry in here. You've got pretty much a wardrobe for everyone here. Uh, if I look inside, you've got a wardrobe uh, rods to be able to put your hangers and your clothes. Uh, lots and lots of storage throughout. Um, in fact, underneath the entire bed, there is storage. So if you want to put some sleeping bags, some towels under there, uh, you can do that all really easily as well too. We've got more storage down here where you can actually pull out uh, these drawers as well too. And what's really nice is what they did, even though this is a walk around bed, uh, there's actually additional sitting area there on the side. Uh, so you can actually sit on the side of the bed on those uh, carpeted cutouts as well too. Looking over here to the kitchen, uh, pretty much everything that you can need. You've got your uh, Magic Chef microwave. We've got a range hood with fan. We've got um, an actual gas, uh, LP gas stove top, three burners, looks just like new. And then we've also got a LP gas oven, which works great. You can actually throw some fries in there for the kids, uh, bake whatever you need to. Nice, uh, large, dual sink. And again, lots of storage throughout. You've got your sponge can caddy in here to put your sponge. You've got drawers. You've got all your manuals for you right here. All your instruction manuals as well. Plenty of room for the pots and pans. And lots of uh, cabinets again throughout the uh, entire camper. Let's go ahead and look back in another sleeping area. We've got two bunks here. These are really nice bunks. Kids absolutely love them. A uh, ladder to go up into them. They've got reading lights inside of the bunks. Windows, which uh, open really easily. And uh, this is something that the kids will actually like a lot. Right under here is, again, storage, which goes right through to the outside so that you can uh, access anything from either the inside or the outside really easily. All these sleeping areas, too, do have privacy curtains, so you can close off the bunks, you can close off the queen bed if you want a little bit of privacy. And then, of course, over here, we've got our dinette, which also turns into a double bed. So you could actually sleep six people in this camper uh, between the queen bed, the two bunks, and the dinette. Uh, table, obviously, uh, will uh, fold down and make a nice queen, uh, excuse me, double bed. Uh, table also goes outside, which is nice. It's not permanently affixed to the camper, so you can use it outside if you're trying to set up some kind of buffet, feeding a lot of people, that sort of thing as well, too. Over here, we've got more overhead storage, nice and large. Plenty of room in there. And we've got our entertainment center here. We've got a 21 inch flat screen TV. It hooks up to a WineGuard powered HD television antenna. Also to cable or satellite hookups. And then we're connected to a DVD player, CD, radio, MP3, SD card, USB, auxiliary port, all of that's in there. And you've got inside and outside speakers. So you've got three zones uh, of speakers, two inside and one outside as well too, and that will run off of 12 volt uh, for the uh, stereo system in case you're not hooked up to short power. Moving along, we've got, uh, if you could see up here, a uh, Duotherm Brisk Air air conditioner, 13,500 BTU, 
cools down the camper really nice on those hot days. And we've also got a furnace as well here that will run uh, off of propane on 12 volts or 110 AC and keep you nice and toasty on those cold days. Moving along, we've got our Dometic refrigerator. This is a really nice large uh, fridge. And you'll see we've got the freezer up here. Uh, you can put some ice cubes in the ice cube tray as well. Keep your ice cream cold. And then down here, really nice fridge uh, with lots of storage on the door. You've got crisper drawers and a whole lot more. And the fridge again will run, of course, on propane when you're riding down the road or once you're hooked up to shore power, it will switch over to electric automatically for you. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Uh, for the bathroom, again, this is really unique. You've got a full tub here for the kids. So again, you got little kids, don't wanna take them into those campground bathrooms. Great, fill this up with some water. You can get them all scrubbed up really nice and uh, you've got a, a great tub right here in the bathroom. And then a really nice shower uh, as well too with a detachable wand uh, as well. Uh, nice skylight in the shower so you've got plenty of light. You can actually see in the morning the sun and, and the blue skies and everything else that's up there. And then we've got a nice uh, vanity here as well and a medicine cabinet. Uh, sink, lots of storage again below the sink. You'll see there's ducted heat in the bathroom as well. Also a GFI power outlet for your hair dryer or your curling iron or whatever else that might be as well. And then a really nice uh, toilet with a pedestal foot flush on it as well too. Uh, one thing I want to point out is this has the upgraded Creative Breeze fan. This is fantastic if you've never had one of these. You open it up, it literally acts like an attic fan and pulls in air through all the windows. It's great on one of those days where you don't want to run the air conditioning or maybe it's at night so you want it a little bit quieter. You put the fan on, it pulls a nice breeze through the camper, keeps the air moving at all times and uh, works really, really well in there. So again, there you have it. This is the uh, 2010 Flagstaff Microlite 23LB, 23 foot trailer, only 3781 pounds dry. And uh, this is a fantastic clean camper. It's all ready to go. It's been dewinterized. It's been prepped. It's got propane. You literally can just load up your clothes, stock the fridge with some food and hook it up to your car and enjoy wherever you want to go, whether that be Allegheny State Park, the Adirondacks, you could take this all the way across the country to Yosemite if you wanted. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch and you'll really enjoy this camper. We did, and I hope you do as well too. Thank you.